All right, gonna do a walk around of the new boat project before we get started getting it cleaned up. So this is a 1985 Outer Reef 27. And uh, it might be hard to see, but it actually came from Michigan. And the last sticker on the boat is 03, but the boat was fired up on the trailer about 10 years ago, according to the owner. The man that I bought this boat from has had it since about 1998 and continued to register it until I believe he had a sticker for 2017. But in some disrepair and certainly needing a lot of love, but this is exactly what we're hoping to find. So uh, the tires, while I'm over here, these tires, I believe that they're also 20 plus years old. Uh, the man had put rubber down and under the tires, luckily they had easy grease hubs, so I was able to grease the hubs. Um, and they have plenty of tread, but I tried to buy tires in Michigan from two different sources right, right near there. And nobody wanted to, they either didn't have the tires or they, they wouldn't install them. So I drove 53 miles an hour home for 15 hours to Tennessee. So this is the exhaust, a couple of through holes here. The paint's clearly brushed, this green color. And I believe this is the original gel coat, which is actually not very badly degraded. I was kind of surprised to see that, but it does want to come off so i'm going to wash it and see what happens before doing too much the trailer's actually an aluminum i-beam trailer it has a mount for an outboard and a second mount it's an inboard diesel with the propeller here and it's attached so it's very well protected uh, the bottom paint actually looks really good and i imagine it'd probably be worthwhile to put another coat on it just to be safe uh, zincs of course will need to be replaced these are the cockpit drains right full of stuff so swim steps on the back let's go up okay what do we see pine everywhere okay so we got tubs full of stuff from the cockpit the doors and again just the finish is, is awful so we have to work on that has this interesting little companion way guy and you have to have it just barely open to get in the door so here's the inside the wood is really mixed like this is really faded near the door so it's not great the teak here looks pretty good like it's savable and here we go so we have got sink kitchenette little area here dinette gas stove still looking around making sure i don't have any hornets Let's see if the hornets are still here today nope look like i got them yesterday but here's the little dinette several drawers nice oven so this is pretty good and uh, the ceiling's nice. I'm five foot ten and I'm able to walk around in here easily. Um, over here, this came with the boat. It's this huge inverter and charger. The walls are kind of interesting. It's like a carpet, and it's actually not totally gross. Like it, it feels okay. The uh, ceiling, a couple little spots like that, but generally in good shape. This, I'm um, told, is a bimini for the outside frame. So are those pieces of wood. Table goes here, and it's actually in pretty nice shape. So I'm hoping that a vacuum, I know we're going to take the carpet out and replace the carpet with some type of wood. Uh, this is a closet. And best I can tell, this white hose here is an engine room vent. And then, this is for like hot air out of the engine room. Then down here we have got, I believe that's the exhaust and the through hole for the water pump. And otherwise it's just a closet. That's pretty nice. Here is the head. I never had a boat with a head until now. So the wood is in great shape. I'm really excited about the condition. The quality of things seems to be good. 
Um, of all of the ports on the boat, this is the only one that leaks and conveniently it's in a wet bath. So that worked out great. The other ones seem to be pretty intact. Um, of course, this will need a rebuild. But, you know, it, even here I have headroom. So we're going to just do a real deep clean first and see what it needs. Okay, under here is the engine. Which I won't get all the way in. It's a 60 horsepower Azuzu four cylinder. And you can see the engine batteries down there. I believe the diesel tanks are on both port and starboard side and this boat has a 200 gallon advertised diesel capacity. Uh, it also has a 10 nautical mile per gallon range claimed. So that would give this boat a 2,000 nautical mile range, which is, I mean, just is ridiculous. Like, totally, totally crazy. That's, I mean, you couldn't go to Hawaii on that, but I mean, you can go to a lot of places on that. Okay, this is the refrigerator, and it's huge. Like, let's see, that's about an arm's length there, and it goes even down further. So, it has a fan there, but does not appear all the refrigeration there. I think it's actually in the cockpit. Yeah, let me, while I'm thinking, I believe that pump. Is actually buried in here like that appears to be the refrigeration I don't know yet okay moving forward it's got Cytex 5 kilowatt radar which I mean totally crazy to me that's like more than a go-kart engines worth of power going to that radar here we can see one of the fighting chairs and this is incredible like I love this and the wood again just I, I think it's gonna turn out really nicely it's got these doors you can open on both sides so I'm very excited about that portholes this is just a clock it's kind of dirty I don't know if I'll be able to clean that up that's under the head a little more storage and here you can see whatever material they've used for this it's fading so this was the side of the boat that was more in the sun so the glue here is gone more this would just be like a nav station desk here under the radar got a depth finder uh, this is the radar more nav radar stuff got the vhf up here got a garmin and a compass a zuzu diesel uh, this is kind of interesting because i couldn't find a gear shift it's like all together so it says neutral right there um but that's it and the boat only has 650 hours I, I believe the sales papers from when the man that i bought the boat from bought the boat said 575 so they didn't put a ton of hours on it got this little wheel here for the tiller um and it has this autopilot which i saw there's a guy named top fun guy i think on youtube that has a little is 25 kind of pocket trawler it has an identical system where it runs a belt to a motor so let's see a little electrical panel is down here and then here is the v-berth which i did sit in make sure it's good and there's also this cage here which is kind of interesting like i saw it and i believe there's a propeller under like a little tiny like this big of a propeller under the boat and i believe it spins to know how many um now I'll go miles of boats gone, so that's that's interesting. V birth is here. We got foam everywhere. More of this brown carpet. Again, I don't really hate the brown carpet. I'm gonna it's gonna take a, a lot for me to just totally give up on that. It's got this little port here. Two people can easily sit up, and there's the anchor locker up there. 
and then obviously just you know keep your storage under here so it's nice it's got this little cell phone holder up here so we'll have to do some updates from 1998 to present as far as cell phone charging and whatnot but that is the cabin of the boat still haven't found the house batteries imagine they must be under here or somewhere and there's a sound going on. I believe this is actually a solar. Um, I believe it's a fan trying to work on that. Anyways. Okay. So let's move on. Side of the deck here. So keep on it's got these little bulwarks which is nice it's got a fake chimney up here and i believe that's where the radar mounts it's hinged so it would go that way it's got an ac unit just it looks like an rv style just, just go right into the cockpit and i believe this is an anchor mount it came with a, an additional damper anchor power in is there and this is kind of interesting. These look like just truck mirrors and they have rusted and put stains all down the boat. So I'm not partial to them. And even worse than that, if you look head on, like you're trying to get around the boat, you almost have to put a hand here just to get around them. So I don't like that. Those will probably go. Anchor is here. It does have a bow roller, which I like. Uh, it has galvanized hand, which surprisingly is not, not real bad. And it has an anchor locker, but no windlass. So this little Samson post, depending on how difficult it is, it would, might be changing this out to a windlass. But there is the boat. All our glory. Over here, we've got diesel and waste as they come in. And you can see just kind of how it looks. Uh, I think I'll be very glad to have air conditioning, but it, it certainly is kind of strange having this. It kind of obscures it, makes it less visible. This is that little vent. I believe it's solar powered, and, and this would have been, I mean, 1998 at the earliest. I don't know. This is made of stainless, clearly uh, retrofit. You know, somebody put this on here, hand fabricated. So that's that. But just want to give a walk around of the boat project.